hi guys welcome back to my channel but if you're new here welcome i am tasha okay so today i wanted to talk about romanticizing your life in winter or just mainly overcoming the winter blues okay because if you're anything like me winter can be one of the most toughest seasons to get through especially if you live in canada okay lately canada has been one of the most depressing places to live in one of the most depressing countries i guess to live in because inflation here is just been at an all-time high there has been so much going on here that People don't even have money to do things, basically. They don't have money to get out because what happened to a lot of people is that the cost of living just went so high. So a lot of that can lead to a lot of anxiety and depression and just not wanting to do anything because you can't do anything or you're just so used to spending your money to do certain activities, but now you have to put that towards eating and just keeping a roof over your head and keeping your bills paid and everything and sometimes there's so many things that you can do during the winter seasons but because you're just maybe having a rough time you can't think of things to do to even get through the winter blues winter in canada is what most of us call over here hibernation season but this time around it's like hibernation on a thousand on top of it, winter is just so, it just feels like it's so long. It, it could feel boring. It can just feel dark, like in terms of like the weather, like it just gets dark so quickly, especially these days. I don't know if you know it's like if you're in Canada, like have you been noticing that nighttime just comes like that? Like it would be, you get up, you do a few things and you look outside and it's dark. It's just dark, like, so you just like, what could i even do like it's dark outside already and you just don't feel like doing nothing and you end up staying inside and oh like it's so annoying so like in today's video i just wanted to help you guys out and let you know some things that you can do going outside and just things that you could do while you're inside if you don't feel like thinking about it and knowing what to do don't worry i'm here and i'm here to help you okay so the main thing i want to tell you guys is to stay social now i myself i am an introvert okay so staying social is super hard for me i like to say to myself and even this like this is the most social that i do so even when i go out there and i do vlogs guys like your girl's an introvert but i want to like crack out of my shell and just find myself a little bit more because yolo you know and if i don't go out there and i don't do the things that i like to do who's gonna do it for me and i'll just go through life saying i should have could have would have like no get out there meet up with a friend do even small things like meet up at a coffee shop and just having conversations sometimes just discovering new things about the people around you and yourself and just learning from company is a good thing and spice it up a bit like add some cinnamon to your drink and some marshmallows have some hot chocolate like just make it like nice and winterish you know enjoy the season in a drink and some conversation so when it comes to outdoors there are a few things that you can get out there and do you can go ice skating i noticed that there are local places in like different cities and different neighborhoods i've seen even at the library they set up areas where you can do skating and you can do snowboarding if there's snow like like we don't have snow yet in like the gta i haven't really seen snow like i've seen it snow once but snow is coming so you can get out there and do some skiing i know there's like blue mountain i've been there one time i don't think i actually skied there but yeah you can get out to places like that and just do some skiing i know it might be a little pricey but this is if you're just saving up to do something in the near future just know you can go do some skiing you know and snowboarding and there are places in certain cities where they have local places where you can do some snowboarding i haven't done it myself i usually just go find a hill and get something to do the snowboarding on 
but there's probably bigger hills depending on where you live that you can actually do some snowboarding and just if you have a snowboard at home you can go on marketplace to see i never checked for a snowboard but i know marketplace like has like everything but you know find a snowboard buy a snowboard one on a budget you can go out there and do some snowboarding you can do some winter camping where you can learn some life survival skills in the outdoors learn how to do a campfire i have never learned how to do that and i wanted to learn so like i think this winter i may want to try to do something like that you can um build a campfire make some s'mores make sure you bundle up you don't want to be getting sick like i'm not promoting like you know going out there without a scarf and a hat and you know your jacket but it will give you a reason to go out there and wear your winter gear like most of us if we live in canada we have a winter jacket and if we're staying inside we're not even wearing our expensive canada goose or our expensive winter jacket then i know it's not cheap because mine is not so get out there put on your winter gear and do some camping with your family with your friends um i'm not gonna, i wouldn't do that by myself but like that's something you can plan again with some people that you know you can do things like go bowling you know plan a trip with a few people i know bowling is more fun if you do have a few people with you so that you can make teams that you can eat there socialize drink you know it takes a while to bowl so you'd be out there for quite some time and i notice when i do get out you know i have such a full day by the time i come inside at least i feel like i did something and i'm tired now i just want to wind down and have a nice sleep it's harder for me to go to bed sometimes especially since i'm so used to being a night owl if i've just been inside all day so if you do something like going bowling for a few hours and just enjoying your day by the time you come home you'll feel more fulfilled you can find winter festivals to go to i know there's some in the gta that are still going on because right now the kids are like on winter break and some parents they have time off but you can find events to go to there is like wonderland they have like a winter fest there and if you do like do just a regular search you can find what kind of festivals they have going on in your city i know they have like ones in like niagara falls you can check there if you could plan like a little road trip they have like wineries and restaurants there where you can you know do some sampling of some stuff i don't know like i just know that you can search and i know like niagara they did have something like that but look online and see what events winter events that like you can go to either by yourself or with company and the kids for example i believe they had something in ontario which i think was called like lights on stratford depending on where you live it could be far but you can plan a little outing to just go and see the lights like my daughter she loves when we drive in the neighborhood and we see people have their christmas decorations out so you know it's just fun you could take pictures like not of people's houses or anything but depending on what kind of festivals you go to you can take pictures and like have pictures to actually post on like your facebook or instagram like i have instagram but i don't really post much because i don't do enough of these outings so i was planning these some of these things for myself and i was like you know what let me just let you guys know in case you want to do something like this to yourself you can do something like take yourself on a date like that way you can get into it yourself because sometimes we don't do anything because we don't even know ourselves like we spend so much time working and doing things for other people when it comes to ourself especially me I, I leave it to the dust and i don't even know what i like i don't know who i am you can you know do more journaling when you spend more time with yourself and just discovering you and making time for you while you you know spend more time with you you can also prioritize your self-care and just put more time into creating a better you for the new year to come because there's always room for improvement you know change is good and learning new things to develop yourself better you know each year like i'm not on like that whole new year's resolution thing like i'm i've never really done something like that where i'm like oh my gosh for my new year's resolution i'm gonna do like go to gym or something like that i just try to learn new things towards usually the end of the year to bring into my new year but like i don't like start things on like january 1st like to me that's kind of 
it's not even realistic you know like to me just get to know yourself a little bit more during the winter season so that you know you can be a better you if you want to do things where you're staying more indoors like you can create a more cozy environment for yourself with blankets warm socks lighting like certain lamps around and certain lightings that you can buy on like amazon and stuff like that house slippers a good book if you have a fireplace turn on that fireplace you can also like create a winter playlist that can get you motivated to get on to the new year you know just songs that can help you um achieve greater things you can explore new hobbies start watching videos to learn new things you can redecorate your area you can declutter you know i just finished doing some decluttering and when i tell you it can make you feel so good to just you know go through like your cupboards and on your dresser just reorganizing things and put new paint on the wall it can really just lift you up and just give you a more creative mindset to be inspired sometimes you're just stuck in a funk because you're just having the same things around you especially if you work from home it just stays the same i'm currently even working on this room right now because it's been this way for quite some time you know changing um the decorations the wall just everything around you so that you can be more creative sometimes you just need to do like a whole new routine just have a whole new look of everything and just rearrange the place and just clean up a bit you know just get up and do that and then you'd be more motivated to even do things in the winter because sometimes you're just stuck because of the environment that's around you you could do things like cook and bake like your favorite winter snacks you can make a gingerbread house i really wanted to do that like i always see them in the store and to be honest like sometimes i'm just like i don't want to fit that in my budget or i can't fit that in my budget right now because my budget like if you watch my last video it was like a hundred dollar budget so sometimes those um gingerbread houses are like 15 20 bucks sometimes like sometimes it's not a lot but if you're on a budget it's squeezing that in it's a lot but if you're not on a budget you can pick up something like a gingerbread house and like build that with the kids um it's fun plus you can eat it you know and last but not least i want to save this for last because i find it very inspiring is to create a vision board that has been like my number one to do thing this year because sometimes you just need to visually see where you're going and visually see your plan to think about it sometimes is just not enough you know go on pinterest get ideas put them together write things down make things visual of where you want to see your life for 2024 what are your goals um, what are the things that you want to do and sometimes when you have that vision board there it just makes you want to do that so that was it for my video guys i really hope that this inspires you to get out of that winter funk that you might be in that if you're in like some type of seasonal depression just know that it's for a time like it will pass i really hope that this video inspires you to get up and do something that it will help you decide new things that you want to do this winter i don't know what are your plans have you had some plans that you want to do either outside of the house inside of the house you can leave that in the comments you know this is a safe space for us to vibe you guys so you can let me know what are your plans this winter what are some of your plans for the new year's you know if you do want to share it you know we are a family here so yeah feel free to leave that in the comments i really appreciate you guys being here with me it means so much to me i have you know certain plans for the new year's you know fingers crossed god spare life you know it does come through and if you want to see make sure that you do subscribe to this channel guys but yeah if you made it this far in the video um i would say leave a red heart down below so i knew that you made it this far and that you have some winter plans and you're gonna get up and do something and create a better you for the new year to come this year was just so hard this has been the hardest year for me thus far um it's been tough it's it's been really hard it's been challenging I'm not gonna lie to you guys it's been a very i wouldn't really lie to you guys i'm just I, that's just how i talk but like it 
it was the hardest year for me but at the same time i said i'm not gonna make it break me i'm gonna make it make me for next year because your mindset has a lot to do with the way life goes you know you can go through hard times and you can choose am i gonna let it set me in a bad path where i don't go through my journey right or am i gonna make it lift me up and teach me who i am and i'm trying to make it teach me who i am you know because we only have one life i tell myself like i only have one one life to live and times are different you know i'm in canada and i talk to a lot of people these days and it's rough being here it is so hard like canada is just not the same and if you're from here you like i don't know maybe it is just me and the people i've spoken to but it is hard to make it out here in canada it's really tough but you know i'm praying for the best and i'm praying for the best for you guys too this year you know i keep my subscribers in my prayers just to let you guys know because you guys do mean a lot to me you guys been here for me when i felt like nobody was and it does mean a lot to me and if you're here watching my videos then you vibe with me too and that means a lot so i will see you guys in the next video um yeah until the next one bye <laughs>